What is going on guys? My name is Golden Guy. Today we're going to play Boros Burning Modern Classic version with some deflecting palms. Let's get into it. So like I just said, today we're going to play more Classic Burn. Uh, that has been my list for my past four leagues uh, unrecorded. And I have an 80% win rate with this list exactly. So 19 lines with a fire ice slot, one skull crack, the rest is four everywhere. We've got Sanctifier and Vec, my best friend in the world, uh, Smash Rolling Vortex, and we've got uh, two path instead of three. Uh, no prismatic ending anymore. I think path and deep palm are way better right now. And we got three deflecting palm. The third one is really uh, not necessary if you don't like it. I'm having a lot of matchups against deflecting that where the deflecting palm is great, so that's why I have three. Um, Hammer time, Merc tide, even a lot of combo decks are are coming back in modern, like uh, Golden Charbelcher or something like those. Deflecting palm can really cheese out some way some games with those uh, uh, crazy combo decks. So that's pretty much it for the list. Uh, if you like the video, please consider putting a little thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And maybe a little comment. What do you think about the modern metagame right now? And uh, if you're really interested in this ty type of content, I really uh, post a lot of videos about modern burn or lightning ball decks uh, about. I try it every single week. And uh, if you're really interested in this, you can subscribe to the channel. Also, I just really want to say a huge thank you to all my Patreons. If you're interested in that, I have a link in the description below. And you can get a sideboard guide for burn every single month on the second tier. So that's pretty much it for the list. Let's get into the video. I hope you enjoy. All right, round number one. We're on the play. Very nice. There is no land. Let's small. And that's a keep. Uh, we're gonna put the searing blade to the bottom. Two spear, one for one. Last turn. Basic swamp. Okay. Thoughtsies, sure, it's fine. Taking the bolt, all right. All right, so since this is a um, discard deck, I'd rather go for Lava Spike plus Security Critics um, rather than like Lava Spike plus Rift Bolt. And uh, let's go for maximum damage with our Swiss Spear while we still have the uh, the Swiss Spear. All right, Knight. Okay, maybe this is like Mono Black uh, something. All right, so let's go for a double suspend and pass turn. So it gives it that touch, sure. Maybe this is like Mono Black Vampires or something? Okay. Yep. We still have two Earth Bolts coming through, so if we top that Goblin Guide, um, any burn spell, really, except for certain Blies, it's gonna do it. All right, um, we have a good chance to top deck a two mana burn spell, so we're just gonna pass for now. Hope no life gain, and we're gonna crack the fire ice slot end of turn. Uh huh. All right, 
are not playing. Um, what, which legendary creature do they want for this Chizo? Not sure. Let's go to critics. And Helix is going to do it. Alright. Mono black thingy. Still not sure what we're up against, but I'm guessing they're going to bring some sort of a life gain. So let's bring two Vortex. Uh, Sanctifier and Vec could be okay since they're mono black. Uh, we're going to cut the four security critics and the Rift Bolt. Maybe one Blaze Rift Bolt. Because I mean, it looks like they have creatures, but it's not like their prim primary thing. Okay, yeah, that's a keep. Especially against a discard deck, don't want to. Mulligan that much. And I mean, we have a turn to Sanctifier, which is pretty good. It's like an unkillable creature. I guess they can kill it with uh, Liliana. That's their only way. Whoops. Sorry about that. That's the only way they can kill it. It's with Liliana. Okay. Go Swiss Pier and pass. We might go just go for second Swiss Pier on turn two. Um, let's bolt. Okay, I think I'm going to go for the Sanctifier. Next turn we can go for Swiss Pier double bolt. It's going to deal a lot of damage. I guess I could have had like free damage in if I uh, second min phase my sanctifier. I might fear the um, the instant speed spell, so they would have taken one. Still not sure what they're doing exactly. Okay, that's pretty annoying. Since literally everything in our hand costs one. Stop big string blaze. Okay, I guess that's fine too. Uh, so let's go swing with both. No blocks, sure. Let's play the other one. Uh, pass turn. Sure, main deck lures. All right. Uh huh. A lot of spike again, another one drop, unfortunately. Okay, so let's go swing for five. No blocks. Do we bolt just put some more damage? No, I'm gonna let them my hand for now. Uh, pass turn. Uh, I should have put Lurus into my hand. That was stupid. Uh -huh. so we gain three, but we deal five turns, so it's still not that bad.
Sure. Okay, got to draw a line for that to be good. Okay, so let's go uh, level spike, countered, prowess trigger. Uh, let's, let's keep a sanctifier back so they cannot attack anymore. Okay. Um, Pass turn. Just want the Lurus not being able to attack. That's pretty much it. So if we top deck an external line, we can Blaze plus double spell. Swing with everyone that should make it lethal, uh, depending on what they have in hand and which creature they attack with. This is four to activate, so they can actually activate it now. Uh -huh. Yep, that gets countered, my friend. <laughs> Chalice's Void is on both sides. No attacks. We're afraid to swing back and we even top deck a line, which is perfect. So let's go Blaze the Lurus. Uh, then we can attack with all of these. A block, sure. Alright, um... It's not gonna matter. So we're not dead on the swing back, right? No. The attack for uh, only six, eight, or same thing, eight. They need three more damage, and then next turn we swing with both into fires, and that should do it. Pretty surprised it didn't did not activate this just to kill our Swiss spear. Seems a little weird. So if we go to game three, I'm gonna break some smashes. Um and probably bring the fourth uh searing blaze back. Because you have a little more creatures than I than I was uh, thinking. Uh -huh. Can they survive? That's the question. <laughs> Can't believe I was like, uh, I don't know. Is this really that good? <laughs> they are just carrying this game so hard. So two two that has protection from your deck is pretty good. Sure, swing for five. Oh no, actually they have six mana, so we're just dead, right? Yep, that's eleven. Yep. You got me. 
Alright, uh, did they have, did they play a line this turn or just missed it? I think they already had six lines, so I'm just, they had just had lethal on board, I'm just dumb. Okay, so I think I'm gonna bring two path. Uh, the fourth Searing Blaze and like two smash. Um, we can cut some Rift Bolts, probably. Now they have Mishra's Bubble, so that's not too bad. Uh, maybe just Borstrom. Yeah, let's try it like that. <clears throat> it's unfortunate. Okay, that's pretty good. We're gonna, well, not pretty good, but it's fine, I guess. Uh, we're gonna keep this, put this to the bottom. Just hope for no Inquisition turn one or Thoughtseize. We should be fine. We'll get into five, wow. Are they running Leyline? Spike, go. Sure. Drawing another line is really not that great. At least we got Sing Fire to block our opponent's creatures. But I'm a little afraid of another Liliana of the Veil. So I'd like to draw like another creature. Ilon would be nice. Chalice on one again. Sure. Another land. All right. Let's go mountain. Put Loris into our hand. I think we chill with Sanctifier because. Well, actually, no. If they want to swing using this to, make, to deal four damage. And that's gonna be their entire turn. I think I'm fine with that. They wanna use three mana to make this like their full turn. I think I'm fine with that. Sure. All right, take four. That's a smash, but we're not gonna play Smash now. I think it's just Lurus time. And pass turn. We're gonna keep Sanctifier in defense. Sure. Lurus versus Lurus. We can smash the Chalice, but we need to kill the Lurus. So top deck Searing Blaze would be great. Because we're just gonna play the chalice again. Eidolon, okay. Let's uh, redraw. Eidolon. I mean, at least it deals damage to them whenever they were gonna play the bobble. So they're gonna draw a bunch of cards, but they're gonna take two every time. And second fire plus idol is like kind of a soft lock on our opponent. Yep, because every time they're gonna take two, they cannot really attack us. We got because we have the sanctifier. Um, and if they find a way to kill the sanctifier, we can bring it back with the Lurus. Sure. <clears throat> I think we just sack the Eidolon here. 
it already dealt uh, four damage. That's really good. And then we can just swing at Lily and kill it and play our other idol one. Okay. Actually, we don't need to kill Lily right now. We can make it plus, discard the Swiss Spear. We don't really mind. Uh, we might even just want to go face, honestly. Face plus Skull Crack plus Smash this. Well, first we f we play, we attack with this. Yeah, I don't need the Lurus that much. Uh. So I can swing face. Take two, play the Eidolon, and then we can uh, block the one, one creature with Eidolon and Skullcrack so the Lurus doesn't gain the life. And then smash and swing again, and that should do it. Yeah, they have pushes, so they're not really helping that much themselves. Yeah, I think they're dead here. They don't. They can't do anything. Is they if they play a discard spell? Um, they're gonna take two. Well, they they can be at one, but we're still gonna swing again. Um, I think we I think we got this. Now we fetch <clears throat> and we skull crack our opponent. That should be good enough. Actually, no. If they have another Liliana, Liliana of the Veil, they can play. We sack the Sanctifier. Okay, they did not. Alright. Interesting deck. Though I'm not sure it's really that well positioned in the, in the modern meta considering this is like your best beatdown card this is really good chalice is pretty good as well not sure why you would not splash red for all the bonuses it gives you so let's get them on round number two all right round number two on the draw it's uh, a lot of lines we're gonna mull. It's not a lot of lines, but I guess we can try it. We've got a guide, there's Volt and potentially an idol line, and we're on the draw, so maybe um okay, I'm playing against Mill. Let's go suspend Rift Bolt and pass. 
Oh, is this the, the male bag that won the, uh, the challenge? Azorius male? Man is really annoying, but we're still gonna kill the crab here. We got two of our basic lines in the grave. That could be an issue later on. They have a um, field of ruin. Okay, we just milled 17 cards. Cool. Thought scour, interesting. Okay, we mail fourteen. So we do this and we log them out of the game, basically. Oh my god, so dumb, so dumb. Not gonna lose because I have Rivbolt plus Helix before I draw, so I think I should be good. So let's just put in non upkeep stop on my turn, and we should be good to go. Because they got our last mountain, yeah. Yeah, they need like uh, two force of negation. Would be surprised to see that. Just cast this just in case something bad happens. Actually, even with two force, they take two to four to the Adelon, so it's not good enough. Okay, so literally, I don't know why they're playing white. So I guess I'm just going to ch go check out their list. Um, you white nil modern. They're playing nil for the what? Um, doesn't look like, <laughs> doesn't look like modern, looks like pioneer mill. Uh, I guess whatever. Uh, let's just go for rolling vortex. Um, and go like this. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what we sideboard in. <laughs> and I guess they don't have a crypt, in crypt incursion, so that's a good thing. Maybe they run like Lyline of Sanctity, which would be a pretty good, pretty huge problem. That's uh that's a key, but on the draw, double guide, idle on rolling vortex, searing blows, a lot of good stuff. Just hope they don't have like turn one crab into turn two remand or counter spell. That would be like the worst. And unfortunately our line is a fetch land, which is always pretty bad against mill. Fortunate, can we draw a bolt? 
We cannot. Okay. Let's go for building guide and pasture. Fortunate. We have a rolling vortex. We <laughs> could have played before they do that. So we mill quite a lot of lands, which we wanted. That's unfortunate. We mill a bolt, which we wanted. Just want to see a line here. Blaze, swing for five. Should be good to go. So our opponent is down to three cards, so they don't have much gas anymore. Come on, land. Another golden guide. Okay. I don't think we're going to be fast enough. Yeah, and they get to draw three if they have another land. They block, sure. They go land vision, I think we just lose. Yeah, they got land vision. Okay, still, I, at least we still got our mountains in our deck. Come on, land. Fortunate. Guess we're going to skewer the crab. I think I've seen enough of this game. <laughs> uh, right. Now we're on the play, should be good. Things sh should be a little better. Why can't we deflecting palm their mill spells? Mill for 14. No, you take 14. And I get to keep my cards. Pretty surprised so far. We're seeing mono, mono black mid range, I guess, and blue white mill. <laughs> Pretty. Uh, Pretty uh, weird matchup so far. Mm -hmm. I think that's good enough, and we don't have any fetches, which is a plus. We have a turn one bolt on the crab, turn two rolling vortex. That's pretty good. Pretty good. It's not the fast and fastest hand, but it prevents life gain. Has some removal for the crab. I think that's good enough.
opponent thinking they're on six. Do they want to go to five? They don't. So let's go Sunday Canyon to go. Crab is here. Shock that and play the rolling vortex pasture. Okay, so if they want archive tripos, they're gonna have to take five. So basically, they remove a fourth of our library and we remove one fourth of their life total. That's pretty. That's a fair trade, I, I think. Okay, I think we just love a spike and pass. Well, actually, no, I'm just gonna helix and keep up one mana up for um, Vortex. Sure. Mill four. Mill four. Seems bad. All right. That's really good. Let's play that. So we only have 12 cards milled so far. That's really, they're really far away from getting us. So that's why I feel comfortable not casting multiple spells right now, since we're really far ahead on, uh, on the burning, burning our phase or burning our library. We're pretty far ahead, so we have the, the luxury of keeping one mana up for life gain, even though it looks like they're not don't have white source so far, so maybe family enforcement is not a thing. And this idle one should be really bad for them. If they're white, maybe don't, they don't have any removal spells for one. Maybe they have like path or ending, but I'm really not sure what they're running. Looks like they're mostly mono blue, splashing white just to play Luris. A, a third fractured sanity. Sure, that's again not that great. I guess it passes through Eidolon, and that's pretty good. But I'm still at 38. Show. Show. And next turn, we get to Spike Skewer. Bring them down to seven, swing for two, but down to five. Really? That's, that feels bad, man. So we can lock them out of the game right now. Yep. Let's go Borstrom. And secure. That should be good enough. Plus, they have a four mana thing that can make them gain life. Yeah, you're dead. All right. So it was pretty. The third game was pretty, pretty straightforward. The second game was pretty. Uh, humiliating. <laughs> we just didn't cast anything. Alright, so let's get around number three. 
All right, round number three on the draw. Playing against a Yorion deck. All right. I think this hand is pretty good against a Yorion deck, so we're going to keep. Uh -huh. Red. Okay, interesting. Um, do we just, I'm going to remove this. This is getting annoying. Uh, let's just bolt the Ragavan, thinking. Oh, they, they maybe have another one. Did they keep a Wallander? Come on, another Ragavan. Forest. What is happening here? I think we just smash the title one. Not sure what my opponent is up to, um, but it looks like they might be playing like Naya Aggro with the Yorion. Yeah, like they're splashing white for the Yorion and maybe like Prismatic Ending, but it's basically like Gruel mid range slashing white. Line, please. No. All right, let's just uh, pass turn. We're gonna charm end of turn. We've got three charms. Really hope my opponent does not blood moon us, because uh, our charms are pretty much gonna deal the entire damage in this game. Okay, they go get a rigram triome. Interesting. Uh, no blocks for now. We're gonna take this one. All right, let's cast Boris Charm. I don't think they're gonna blue moon us if they go grab this. Okay. Sure. Okay, so it looks like a Kiki Resto combo or something like that. Fortunately, no lands again. Uh, let's just pass turn. I think we're gonna have to block this time around so we don't die to our own idol one. We need a land. We're just gonna die if we don't draw a land. Sure, it's fine. Okay, let's cast Charm. Come on, land. Again. Um, at least we can... S oh, maybe they have like Teferi Time Raveler. That could be a thing, that's why they splash blue. So maybe we just go Boris Germ and then Lava Spikes here. That's probably the safer play here. Yeah, they probably blue for Teferi. So they need some sort of life gain here to remain alive. And they're in the right colors for that. Maybe Thalia could be really annoying. Thalia would uh, make our our life at all a little little nightmarish. Uh. Come on, opponent. Do something. Sure. 
Uh, 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 I'm guessing they have like bunch of blinks or maybe ephemerate and stuff. Mm -hmm. No attacks. That's really weird. That's Borch Charm. One to five. Lava Spike. Add two. Secure. They have an answer to this. A Coco, perhaps? Like they tap out four mana. Or um, a, a Court of Calling, grabbing something. All right, our opponent's back, finally deciding what they want to do with their, their mana. Court of Calling was expected, which, which what are they going to do though? To five, so Kiki Jiki. Solitude, sure, targeting their angel. Cause they, they don't target their angel. They're just dead. They target their angel, sure. All right, pass turn. So now we absolutely need to top deck a land to kill this. Mm -hmm. If we don't topic a lot, I think it's just, just game over. Yep. All right. Another record. Perfect. So let's go Serene Bly is your dude. They have another Solitude. We're gonna cry. They have another Solitude. <laughs> All right, suspend so a Bolt. Hope we're not dead because they have they have a uh, five on board, so two damage and we're dead. So I'm not playing my Swiss Spear to block the Season Pyro just because I'm expecting maybe they might have another Solitude or Court of Calling, and if we top deck a line, we can Searing Blaze plus the Rift Bolt. It's either they're going to kill us with some burn here, or they're going to get, get some life gain with another sort of solitude or calling. So, and either way, we might not top deck a land or a burn spell, which it w would be pretty rare. Not top, deck top decking a land or a burn spell is like really low in chance. We basically need to top deck a creature. I do apologize for my opponents playing really slowly. Um. Ah! My book just fell out through the crack. Okay, so another pyro, sure. Trying to stay alive. This is understandable. And they get the other solitude like I was expecting. But we still have Searing Blight, so they're still dead. So my play was the right play here, unless they have another Solitude. And we did act, we do actually top deck uh, non-burn, non-creature, uh, non-burn spell, non-land. Okay, finally, we got this. Okay, just popped up. 
stuff here. Ugh. All right. So, path to exile, rolling vortex. I think that's pretty much it, honestly. Don't want much more, more than that. I uh, think we just cut some roof bolts and yeah, just all the roof bolts for rolling vortex. That should be good to go. Oh, uh, no, actually, you know what? Change my mind here. No, 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 no. Ah. Uh, okay, no, okay. Too light. I just realized that they had like a lot of walls and blockers, so my creatures are probably not really good. So this hand is probably not that good. But we're on the draw and we have a Blaze, so maybe we can go like Guide, Blaze, or Swiss Spear. That could potentially be a really powerful hand, so we're gonna try it out. But like I said, they have a bunch of walls and stuff. So maybe it's not the best hand in the world, especially if we don't draw a second land. That's a Sprawl, so they have like a turn two uh, Season Pyro. No, the, the name White. Wall of Omens, like I was expecting. But we have the Blight, so we can actually just kill the wall. If we tell deck aligned. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm just playing Swiss Beer here and swing for one. Pass turn. They did want to draw this, which makes sense. We might have to path our own creature. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to do that. Is this any creature? No, you control. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have to path my own creature. Well, unfortunately, we drew more creatures. Maybe we just path the wall here. Nah, I need the land. Like I wanted to, these should be, my Swiss Pure should be like a Rift Bolts, fortunately. Uh, did not want to, oh, that's perfect. We actually wanted to path our own creature. So we deny the, the three life gain and we get our land. <laughs> that's pretty good. Thought they were just going to slam the angel. That would have made more sense, I think, than just trying to kill a goblin that cannot attack right now. All right. Let's go for another guide and swing. If they want to block with the angel, we can kill the angel with the blaze. I have an answer to this. Path my Swiss spear. Path my Swiss spear. Ah, uh, it's annoying. 
That's really good. But they did fetch shock for this, so might not be the best play. I mean, they're gonna get to draw a lot of cards, which is great for them, but at the same time, they're down to nine. So if they don't have life gain here, they're kind of in trouble. Sure, so they have infinite. So we're dead. All right, that was an unfortunate game, but that's fine. Uh, let's just put all of our Rift Bolts in. They have too many blockers and stuff for our creatures to pass. But yeah, I knew they were playing Kiki Jiki for sure, but I was not expecting just to slam it down right now. Uh, I don't know if I had the luxury to wait for the Kiki to come, but they have Ephemerate anyway. I made them use their Ephemerate, so killing the Angel or killing the Kiki is pretty much the same thing since they're, they're both needed for the combo. Um, they just had the Ephemerate there, so that was that. That's a really unfortunate hand. We just need like one land. Uh, we're gonna mull. That's better. Let's keep and put this to the bottom. Shuck that and play the Rift Bolt Pasture. Still not sure whether we're playing blue. Is it for uh, prismatic ending maybe? Or maybe like the Tef like I mentioned. Because Tef is really good in this kind of deck since you can play the Tef and then you can combo off without your opponent being able to answer. That shock, okay. Helix. Ending, all right. Let's just go for charm, skewer, and pass. Making my opponent down to five, so we might top deck a win next turn. It's annoying. They can blinkist into oblivion. Uh, yep. So if they have ephemerate and stuff, it's gonna be annoying. So let's just pass, hold the helix in case they want to do shady things. Please, this is their only white, so they cannot have like double blink. <laughs> We're gonna name white for sure. <laughs> Green, really? Okay. I think I have to keep this helix into my hand, unfortunately. Because if they do have the ephemerate, just basically gaining six. Okay, please don't have a second one. Oh my god. Yep.
Can we top that crawling vortex? Can we just kill this, honestly? I think we might have to kill this. Fortunate. Guys, it's basically denying doing the same thing, going face or killing this because they're blowing it. Basically going to do the same thing. So we're pretty far back here. I guess I was supposed to put the Lurus into my hand there. Forgot. Oh I'm I'm always forgetting about Lurus. <laughs> Sure. We just path this. Yes, no, not right now. <coughs> Should have pathed this. Okay, let's put Lars into our hand. Pass turn for now. And maybe I'm just supposed to path plus guide. Bring them down to seven. Because last turn I just basically did nothing with my mana, which sucks. And that was pretty bad. Opponent is really slow. I don't know what they're doing, but they don't. They literally have nothing to do. Oh my god. Oh, they cannot play it right now. Okay. Oh, ephemerate. Yeah, I think that's way better than just Charming Prince. You can blame the internal witness next turn. But we can path in response, which is pretty good. Path the witness. I think we literally have to pass, and when they ephemerate, we need to pad the witness. Because if we don't do that, we're just going to lose to witness, blink, to charming prince, and to like, getting everything they need back. But at the same time, they're going to win with Ren now. Okay, next time I think we just play Lurus. Might get killed. Actually, it's going to get killed by ending. Hmm.
Okay. I think the only way we can win this game is Boar's Charm. Top deck. Uh, actually, we have no way of winning now. So we need to kill the Archon. We play Lurus, is going to get removed. Uh, they play this fetch. It doesn't matter, they can just fetch, bring it back. No, if they want to bring it back, and maybe they don't have another fetch in hand. Maybe I'm wrong here, but it looks like they, they had this and this as their fetch lines. So if they don't have another fetch, we can might get to stick Alurus. And then we might get to bolt Archon or remove it some way. And go from there. Oh, they just had an ending in hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, that's good enough. Now we know what they're playing blue. Yeah, I think I'm. I missed this game. Um, the turn that I didn't do anything with my mana. I'm not sure if it would have made a difference in the end because they just had a lot of good value. Um, path guide. Uh, swing would have been down to seven, but there would have had the eternal witness plus ephemerate bringing back the charming prince. I don't think it would have mattered. Uh, I think we just drew a little poorly, and our opponent had really great cards against us like charming prince into ephemerate, and double ephemerate was really the killer in this game. Really unfortunate. Uh, let's get around number four. All right, number four on the draw again. Wow, this hand's gonna hurt us quite a lot. Uh, but if our opponent is not looking to kill us fast, the hand is really good. Uh, so we're gonna keep it. It's not, not Luris, so that's a pretty good sign to start with. Okay, it's a pretty good sign. Might be he's at tempo. We're gonna see. That shock stumping. Okay, this is Rhino. Oh, okay, this is this deck. Uh, we just top like this. <laughs> Went a little too fast there. Okay, so are we down on turn two? Okay. Is this um, Charbelcher or they're playing this in Charbelcher? Well, I would be surprised to be dead here, but we might be dead on turn three. But they could have like ritual, which roll into the four mana, gain seven, travel to win. Mm -hmm. You just pass, okay. So do we go for idle on here or just goblin guide lava spike? 
Um, we go for guide, spike, next turn, spike, charm. That would be 4, 7 this turn, bring them down to 8. Next turn, lethal. So we just need to survive one more turn. And we should be good enough. It could block, but if they block, we might not have the mana to win. Like the Adalon, I think is fine, but we're not trying to go for a long game. We're trying to win the game as fast as possible. And I know they're playing multiple rituals, but they're gonna have enough life to play all their rituals and charbelter and just win i think uh, the bobble <laughs> bobble would have been good with idolon okay they actually do block okay so maybe the idolon was a better play here what is happening white okay okay maybe it's not charbelter <laughs> okay it's this deck First time seeing Thrusta in modern, literally. Okay, so maybe Eidolon was the best play here, because now, yeah, I think Eidolon was the best play. Because now, it's actually just a 7-7 triple haste. It's not even a two-turn clock. It's not that good. <laughs> and it's a legendary, so they cannot have two. But I, knowing this, Idol is definitely a better play. But we still have Lethal because that's 9, 7, 11. So even if they have one blocker, still got Lethal. Oh my god, so we get to uh, maybe Deflecting Pondas. Does it have Hexproof? So we cannot Path to Exile it, but we can Deflect and Palm it. Yeah, Metamorphose. Maybe they have like a double strike combo going on. <laughs> yeah, if I would have played Adolin there, that would have been two, four, six, seven. So a way more damage than just a Lava Splite plus Goblin Guide. Okay, so unfortunately they've got two blockers which stops our plan here but still since it's a legendary creature they cannot play another one that's actually quite huge okay so i think we just passed the turn well let us spike for sure but we just passed turn probably just he likes to gain one life do some blockings and just win next turn Unless they have like trample plus double strike, we should be good here. Okay. Okay, so we have lethal, so I'm just going to block block. Helix face. Then we charm. So I'm expecting them to bring something like Weather to Storm. So I think I'm going to bring Rolling Vortex plus Deflecting Palm. I'm going to cut 
some skewers and two helix. I do want to kill their early creatures path, like I said, which is not that good. We can pass at our turn, but we have three deflecting palms. I think I'm just going to go like that and trust our deck to do enough damage. Path is fine, but seems not that great compared to other things. Okay, so that's pretty good. We have Guide, Blaze. That's some pretty good stuff. Would love to have the Flecking Palm, though. That's a pretty cool card for the deck. It's like a Golden Electromancer, but for the other card that generates mana, that's actually pretty cool. Really wondering what their list is. I might just <laughs> might just want to try it out. I know it really seems like a meme, but I don't know. Would be cool just for a league, just for fun. Okay, is it going to? Is it uh, already the turn? That's one. That's two. So. Four is it's three for for each spell, so they need another spell. That's another spell, so they can. But that's red, so they need need double green. Yep, and now they can go, big boy. That's a pretty good turn too. Metamorphose, Metamorphose, Mistral's Bubbles, Burning Trimissary. And that's three each. All right, you got me down to 12. Where is my path? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Calm down, calm down. Nothing is happening. We're just searing blazing this. Swing for two. Oh, they know we have the deflecting the bomb. They bowl us. No, they know we have it. <clears throat> but they cannot not attack, so... Are you winning this game if you're not at attacking? Eventually, we're just going to kill you with our burn spell. Mm-hmm. Got three metamorphos in thirteen cards. Pretty good. Yep. Bolt the guide, bolt face. All right. All right. Oh no, that's nine exactly. Wow. Wow. That's so unfortunate. And they got a crazy hand, honestly. 
Damn. Exactly nine. Do I want the Bill's path? <laughs> I think the answer is still no. I think we're, we're good enough. But it's actually everything their deck does is a rhino, so. Too light. All right. Not the rhino, the dinosaur. Okay. That's fine. Turn two out of one is pretty good against them. Especially if we kill one of the dork. Uh, maybe I should just not cast the Searing Blaze and just hold the Deflecting Palm. Yeah, that was dumb. Maybe just hold the Blaze, not hold the Palm. If they don't attack, I just Boris Charm. If they attack, I Palm. Yeah. I was not expecting them to kill us that turn, though. Another palm. All right, but this Eidolon should not lug them out, but should really hurt them. They need a lightning bolt to kill this. All right, they got one. Yeah, Eidolon is just screwing them so much, they need some way to remove it. I don't, uh, mountain is perfect. Let's lava spike. Do we slam the rolling vortex? I think we do. So if they cast bobble, they're, they are taking five. I'm not sure that they can deal 19 damage or 18 damage in one turn. Would be pretty surprised. They got some white, so maybe they have like prismatic ending. Let's just sit back with our D palm ready. Swiss spear and rolling vortex is going to uh, eventually kill kill our opponent. But we, we do have like what? We block. Sure, it's fine. Why would you block? It's only one damage, and don't you need your? Or ignoble to try to kill me. Maybe they literally have nothing and they just are just trying to uh, buy time. Sure. Okay, that's annoying. They're just gonna destroy my rolling vortex like that. That's mean. Mm -hmm. All 
Right. Would love to top deck an instant speed spell here. That's uh, that's fine. We'll just lava spike. We could go for skew to critics and swing, but we can't actually just swing with the Swiss spear is going to be good enough. We're going to block anyway for the same amount, so that's fine. Yep. All right, they're actually blocking with both. Sure. Trade with both. Oh no, my Swiss Spear didn't have three power there. <laughs> Can you just cast the dinos already? Uh, they're just gonna grab more life gain th things. Reckless Bushwhacker, what are you doing? Don't want to depalm a three damage thing. I want to depalm a seven damage thing. Come on, top deck. Top deck the dinosaur. Please, please, please. Come on, come on. Do it. Do it. It's boring. We're gonna win this game but with boring three damage deflecting palm. Come on. That was not the deflecting palm I wanted to do. <laughs> All right, let's go to our final round. Let's hope our D palm can do something in this league. All right, final round on the draw again, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, that's that's fine. That is fine. Scalding Tarn. Go. All right, that's a pretty good top deck. Pretty much our best top deck. Fury. Yeah, interesting. Is this Elementals? Emer. Is this rhinos? Looks like Rhino so far. Wow, really? That's really rude. Okay, they don't have a, a way to, to cascade right now. Really? Gotta stop, man. That's that's pretty rude. Alright, down to six. I don't think the rhinos are gonna matter that much. Three turns, pretty far away. 
Thing's gonna be the win with the Bone Crusher. Searing Blaze. No, oh, Borsha. Okay. Looks like they don't have um, horse. Looks like they still don't have force. That's pretty good because they need double thing now. They need two ways. They need to kill my Swiss spear and come through this charm. Okay, so they need the yep. What they just concede. Okay. All right. Uh, so rolling vortex coming in. Can take two searing blows out. I want to try out deflecting palm just because I want them to do something more and just sitting into my sideboard. <laughs> okay, I know it's bad. I know it's bad. But I want them to be the... to shine. And deflecting palm on a rhino or a bone crusher giant is not that bad. Let's be real. It's a two mana. Lightning Helix for four. That's pretty good. This hand is really good though. Mm -hmm. So if they don't have a counter spell to this rolling vortex, we're gonna we we're gonna be we're gonna we we're gonna be uh, in business. And they're down to to four cards, so if they kill the guy and have a force, they're gonna be down to one card. Oh really? That's really annoying. Uh suspend a rift ball. Maybe they're gonna fetch that away and we can slam the vortex next turn. Fetch, fetch, fetch. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> Buck. So this is coming down in two turns. Right. <sighs> I will burst flurry. Sure. Face of the place. Rolling vortex. Pass turn. But maybe they just had a, a, f a foundation breaker and they just didn't care. All right, they just concede. <laughs> That's interesting. All right, so four one. Uh, let's go for a small wrap up. All right, so it was not the glorious deflecting palm league that I wanted to show you, like I had in my previous leagues, but it was still a pretty good league. We lost to um, Yorion 
they had a pretty good hand, was hard to beat, and I'm really happy, I'm always happy when I beat Crushing Footfalls, always feels really good. So I'm gonna put everything in my Excel sheet, and we're gonna keep trying to deflecting palm something, and I know I make some quite a few mistakes, misplays in this league, so I'm gonna try to be better next time. I uh, really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, put a little thumbs up on the little, below the video. La, 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 la. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more burn lightning bolt content. And I'll see you next time in another video. See ya. Bye-bye, guys.